Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and I hope that you're ready for another weekly update. This week is all about bug fixes and improving the performance. The team is identifying all the parts that slows down the game one by one and making sure that they won't spoil your experience. Bear in mind that this is an ongoing process and these improvements will be introduced regularly to deliver a stable frame rate. From now on, using solar panels won't eat as much performance as before. The same applies for ships and rooms filled with oxygen when entering. The game should load faster directly from the Steam client with reduced loading time and also we improve the performance for the assembler and refinery. Among other improvements, you can see that the highlight outline is thicker now so you can identify the objects much easier. And highlights are now applied to all doors found in the game. Interaction with a door is much easier thanks to highlights, as you don't have to look at the door's control panel directly to open it. We will continue to add more highlights to every interactive object in the game. Now, when flying with a jetpack in atmosphere, you will hear a whizzing sound effect of air passing by you. And when you drill, you will be able to identify the respective material by the new sound effects. We fixed access of the public fields inside of a programmable block to make programming easier for you. Lots of thanks to Malware for his help on this. We want to inform you that we have introduced some changes in our code that will affect the scripts. We have introduced a compatibility layer to ensure your scripts work, but we could have missed some, so if you find some issues with your scripts, please report them in the forums via the link in the description box below. And that is all for this week. Send us the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more news delivered to you weekly. And as always, may Clang have mercy on your soul.